The phrase, feed a man's ego and he will keep rewarding you, encapsulates a psychological and social observation regarding human behavior, particularly in the context of relationships and interactions. It suggests that by nurturing a person's self-esteem or ego, you can motivate them to reciprocate positively. Below, we explore the components, implications, and potential applications of this concept. Breaking down the key elements. 1. The role of ego in human behavior. The ego is considered part of the psyche that mediates between the conscious and the unconscious and is responsible for reality testing and a sense of personal identity. It is central to how we see ourselves and how we want to be seen by others. The concept of the ego has its roots in both psychoanalytic theory, as popularized by Sigmund Freud, and is used in various forms across different fields of psychology. In psychoanalysis, the ego is one of the three elements of personality, the others being the ID and the superego. It acts as an intermediary between the primal desires of the ID and the moral and social constraints of the superego. Key Functions of the Ego 1. Reality Testing The ego is responsible for testing reality to mediate appropriate behaviors that are congruent with the external world. It helps assess situations accurately and respond accordingly. 2. Defense Mechanisms To manage the conflicts between the ID, instincts, superego, morality, and reality, the ego employs various defense mechanisms like rationalization, denial, repression, and displacement. These mechanisms help an individual cope with stress and maintain psychological stability. 3. Identity Formation the ego is crucial for developing a sense of self-identity. It integrates personal experiences and the internalized expectations of society to form a coherent sense of who one is. 4. Regulation of self-esteem. It plays a key role in monitoring and regulating self-esteem and self-importance. By managing both internal feelings of self-worth and external validation, the ego contributes to an individual's emotional resilience and sense of fulfillment. Influence on Behavior 1. Decision-Making The ego's rationality helps in decision-making processes that consider both the realistic outcomes and the social appropriateness of different choices. Its balancing act between desire and morality plays a critical role in making decisions that are not solely based on pleasure or norms, but a combination of both. 2. Social Behavior Since one of its tasks is to maintain a socially acceptable self, the ego influences behaviors in social settings, guiding us to act in ways that are both true to our desires and acceptable in society. 3. Adaptation to Change The ego allows individuals to adapt to new environments, situations, and challenges by using its reality testing function to adjust pre-existing strategies to new circumstances. Ego and Interpersonal Relations In relationships, a healthy ego helps balance one's own needs with the needs of others. It enables individuals to empathize by understanding others' perspectives, yet distinguishes their own emotions and needs from those of the people around them. Balance and Health Ego Strength This term refers to the effectiveness with which the ego can perform its functions. Strong ego strength leads to better coping strategies, healthier relationships, and more adaptive behaviors. Ego threats and conflicts. When an individual's self-esteem is threatened, the ego may either adapt or use more defensive strategies, which can lead to dysfunctional behaviors and strained relationships. Conclusion The role of the ego in human behavior is multifaceted, influencing how we see ourselves, interact with others, and make choices in complex social landscapes. A balanced and well-adjusted ego contributes significantly to one's mental health, effective decision-making, and fulfilling relationships. Understanding and strengthening the ego can thus be seen as integral to achieving greater personal development and societal harmony. 2. Psychological Foundations Positive reinforcement, psychologically, rewarding someone's ego can be seen as a form of positive reinforcement. Praising or recognizing someone's achievements can boost their motivation and happiness. 
Transaction in Relationships In social psychology, relationships are sometimes viewed as transactional, where emotional needs such as validation, appreciation, and respect are traded. The psychological underpinnings of the concept, feed a man's ego and he will keep rewarding you, can be found in various theories and principles of psychology that explain human emotion and behavior. Below, we explore two fundamental aspects, positive reinforcement and the transactional nature of relationships. 1. Positive Reinforcement Definition and Mechanism Positive reinforcement refers to the process of increasing the likelihood of a behavior by following it with a desirable outcome or reward. According to B.F. Skinner's operant conditioning theory, behaviors that are followed by positive consequences are likely to recur in the future. Applications in Ego Boosting Compliments and Praise When individuals receive compliments or praise, these acts serve as positive reinforcement. They feel recognized and valued, which heightens their self-esteem and motivates them to continue the behaviors that earn them this praise. Rewards and Acknowledgements In both personal and professional settings, rewards, like bonuses or gifts, and public acknowledgements, like awards, also act to reinforce behaviors, further encouraging individuals to maintain or improve their performance. 2. Transactional Analysis in Relationships Theoretical Background Developed by Eric Byrne, Transactional Analysis TA, is a psychological theory that explores the dynamics of personal relationships. TA describes how individuals interact with each other based on their ego states, which can be classified as parent, adult, or child. Transactional Dynamics Strokes, in TA, Social interactions are termed as strokes, which are the recognition, attention, or responses we give or receive. Positive strokes feed the ego and are crucial for emotional well-being. Transactional motivation, according to TA, humans are motivated by a drive for both stimulation and structure, which are achieved through these transactions. Positive strokes tend to lead to more constructive and beneficial relationships. The ego state interactions complementary transactions these occur when the communication is straightforward and complementary potentially reinforcing constructive behavior and a positive self-image cross transactions these involve miscommunication where responses do not align often leading to conflicts or misunderstandings ethical and personal growth considerations impact on personal development while positive reinforcement can lead to immediate beneficial outcomes, reliance on external validation for ego boosting might hinder personal growth. It may lead to a lack of intrinsic motivation and resilience, which are crucial for long-term emotional and psychological well-being. Balancing Internal and External Validation Self-awareness and Autonomy Developing a strong sense of self-awareness and fostering autonomy are essential for reducing dependency on external approval. Constructive feedback, alongside positive reinforcement, constructive feedback is vital for growth and improvement. It provides a more balanced perspective and aids in the development of problem-solving and coping skills. Conclusion Understanding the psychological foundations of why and how feeding the ego can influence behavior provides valuable insights into human dynamics. These principles underscore the importance of mindful interactions and the balance between external reinforcement and internal self-validation. By fostering both, individuals can maintain healthy relationships and pursue continuous personal growth. 3. Implications of Feeding the Ego Short-term benefits, in the short term, praising or complimenting someone can lead to immediate rewards such as cooperation, increased productivity, or loyalty. Long-term impact, over the long term, however, this strategy might contribute to an inflated ego, potential dependency on external validation or even manipulative behaviors if not balanced properly. Implications of feeding the ego The concept of feeding the ego has significant implications in various aspects of human interaction, including personal relationships, communication, and social dynamics. Here are some key implications of feeding the ego. A. Dependency and entitlement. 
When individuals are repeatedly fed their ego, they may become increasingly dependent on external validation and reassurance. This can lead to a sense of entitlement, where they expect constant attention and praise. Conversely, if they don't receive such validation, their ego may take a hit, leading to feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem. B. Conflict and Miscommunication Feedback and communication in relationships can become distorted when one person is more focused on feeding their ego. They may exaggerate their achievements, downplay their partner's contributions, or even manipulate situations to receive more favorable attention. This can lead to conflict and miscommunication, as the other person may perceive the behavior as insincere or dismissive. C. Lack of emotional intelligence. When individuals are overly focused on feeding their ego, they may neglect emotional intelligence skills such as empathy, effective communication, and conflict resolution. As a result, they may struggle to form meaningful connections with others or navigate complex social situations. D. Inability to accept criticism. Feedback and criticism are essential for personal growth, but individuals who are addicted to feeding their ego may struggle to accept constructive criticism. They may become defensive or even aggressive when faced with feedback that could help them improve. This can lead to stagnation and a lack of progress in their personal or professional lives. E. Reduced empathy and social skills. Fostering the ego through excessive attention from others can lead to reduced empathy and social skills in individuals. They may become more self-centered and less able to understand or relate to the perspectives of others. This can strain social relationships and make it more difficult to form meaningful connections. F. Increased insecurity and need for validation. Moreover, the constant need to feed one's ego can create a cycle of insecurity and the need for constant validation. Individuals may become more fixated on their public image or social media presence, leading to feelings of emptiness and unrest when these validation sources are disrupted. G. Decreased creativity and innovation. The pursuit of ego validation can also stifle creativity and innovation. Innovators often face criticism or opposition, which can be challenging to withstand. If an individual's ego is overly sensitive, they may avoid taking risks or pursuing new ideas, leading to a lack of creativity and progress in their personal or professional life. H. Manipulation and Gaslighting In extreme cases, the need to feed the ego can lead to manipulation and gaslighting behaviors. Individuals may use tactics like spinning facts, denying definitive evidence, or straight out lying to maintain a desired image or to control the narrative around them. These behaviors can damage relationships and undermine trust. Applications and Practical Examples 1. In Leadership and Management Employee Motivation Leaders who recognize and appreciate the efforts of their employees may witness higher morale and productivity. Creating a positive work environment, a culture of recognition when rightly employed can result in a more enthusiastic and committed workforce. 2. In personal relationships. Strengthening bonds, complementing a partner's qualities can strengthen emotional bonds and mutual respect. Conflict resolution, recognition of each other's perspectives and strengths during disagreements can lead to healthier conflict resolution. 3. In marketing and sales. Customer loyalty, brands that commend their customers, for example through loyalty programs or exclusive offers, often enjoy higher customer loyalty and satisfaction. Ethical considerations and balance. 1. Authenticity versus manipulation. It's important to differentiate between genuine appreciation and manipulation. The sincerity of interactions often determines the health and longevity of relationships. 2 dependence on external validation. While it is beneficial to feed the ego, it should not lead to a dependence on external validation for self-worth, as that can undermine personal growth and self-esteem. Conclusion. While the saying, feed a man's ego and he will keep rewarding you, might hold truth in various contexts, it should be approached with mindfulness and ethical consideration. Nurturing relationships through positive reinforcement and mutual respect can lead to rewarding interactions, 
but it must be balanced with authenticity and a healthy sense of self.